making sense of sounds, mastering homophones and homonyms. Hello, language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to delve into the intriguing world of English language where words that sound alike or spelled alike but have different meanings live. Homophones and homonyms. This lesson is designed to make you more aware of these words and confidently use them in your speaking and writing. Homophones are words that sound the same when pronounced, but have different meanings and may have different spellings. A classic example would be, there, there, and there. These words sound identical but have entirely different meanings. In this section, we'll identify a list of commonly confused homophones and create sentences that showcase their correct usage. Example sentence. There is a park near my house. Their dog is very friendly. They're going to the movie theater. Homonyms, on the other hand, are words that may be spelled alike or sound alike but have different meanings. An example would be the word bat, which could mean a piece of sports equipment or a nocturnal flying mammal. Let's explore more of such words and craft sentences that clearly distinguish their meanings. Example sentence. The baseball player swung his bat. The bat flew out of the cave. Now that we have a better understanding of homophones and homonyms, let's practice creating sentences. Remember, the key here is to ensure that the context of the sentence makes the meaning of the homophone or homonym clear. Example. Homophone sentence. The pear fell from the pair of trees. Homonym sentence. He left the band after they played their last gig. Feel free to pause the video here, think of your own sentences, and write them down. This will not only help you remember the words better but also improve your writing skills. The ultimate test of understanding homophones and homonyms comes with speaking. Speaking exercises help ensure that you can correctly use these words in conversation. Here's a little challenge. Try to form a spoken sentence using both a homophone and a homonym. Remember, the aim is to make the meaning clear through the sentence's context. Example, I saw the band play by the bay, and they left their drum on the sand by the bay. Understanding and using homophones and homonyms correctly is an essential part of mastering English. By regularly practicing sentence creation and speaking exercises, you'll become more comfortable with these words. We hope this video has been helpful in your English language learning journey. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning,